Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm taking a nope back through Gerudo Valley. This bridge is now fixed even though a nope stopped at the edge for whatever reason. <laughs> but anyway, I want to take a nope across here now because I'm going to be doing a little mini game. Oh yes, I think you know what mini game this is if you've played this game before and 100%ed it. If not, well, this will be a surprise to you. <laughs> go, no, no. Can't you go upstairs and nope? Uh, I thought you could go upstairs, so... Well, alright. Anyway, uh, you want to go to that shooting gallery that I mentioned uh, in the last video, I should say the end of the last video, and take a note pay with you because she is required for this. And... Can I talk to you? Yes! Oh, look at that pose! That's perfect! <laughs> hey, newcomer! Oh, wait, this isn't the one. Ah, oh, that's too bad. But that was an awesome pose. Who am I supposed to talk to around this joint? Oh, over here, all right. You! Hey, newcomer, you have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but okay, how about challenging this horse? I actually did technically steal a nope here. <laughs> Once the horse starts galloping, shoot the targets with your arrows. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. Um, bullseyes are 100 points, and 100, I mean 1,000 points will get you a heart piece, 1,500 points will get you the last bow and arrow, or I should say the last quiver upgrade in the entire game, which will uh, increase your arrow size, of course, and Anope will be on a predetermined path here, so just get out your bow and start aiming towards the pots, and... Maybe I... Ah, uh, that's okay, I guess. 500 so far. And see if I can get myself some bullseyes and good scores. Any pots around this area? No, I don't see any. But you definitely want to spam as many arrows as accurately as you possibly can. Now, anyway, let's just go down this route here. Ugh! At least get a thousand PK Gam. There we go! This minigame is very, very hard to master. Oh, I gotta have 100 right there. The thing is, is that, as you see, I struggled to get past 1,000, but now I have to get 1,500 for the quiver upgrade. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, I guess that wasn't that hard to get 1,000, but, oh boy, 1,500 is gonna be tough. So let's try this minigame again. That, that was my practice run here, and as you've seen, you only have 20 arrows to do it. An ope! Handle better, there we go! <laughs> yeah, an ope does not handle very well at all, even though she's very fast. I guess that's the trade-off of sorts. Yes, I would. Alright, let's get out our bow right away as soon as we can. And go! Ooh, start aiming to the right. Oh, poopers. Very good, I missed one, but oh boy, and, and the thing is, is that you're moving, and yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> so that might be quite the issue. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna skip that target and just go back to these, because these are a lot easier. I think will be a lot easier, maybe? Ah, oh, holy poopers, I am doing horrendous, and this is going to take me forever. Oh, I'm out of arrows. <laughs> Oh, okay, maybe I'll just cut to my winning run here, because that's... This might take me a while to get this down, especially with my touchy, touchy control stick here. That's my best score yet, but not good enough. Well, that's my best yet. So close, man! Oh. Okay, this run is looking very, very good, so I'm going to start commentating here, I think. Oh my goodness, just two bullseyes or something for the- oh crap. Alright, I'm liking the looks of this run, so I'm going to start commentating here. I am running low on rupees. If anything goes wrong, I'll probably end up just resetting the game. 
<laughs> because I've been at this for quite a while and I really don't feel like uh, restarting this anymore. Yeah! I should say, I don't feel like grinding for rupees. Look how many rupees I have left. Divide how many rupees I used by 20. I was at a full wallet of 500 to get how many tries it took me. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, so I guess rupees were used for one last thing in the game for this extremely difficult mini game. <laughs> but it is done. Whew. That was quite the ordeal. I'm gonna have to cut out like, I'll say 20 minutes of footage or so. <laughs> I've got a couple of things that I chatted about. What? Anope, move forward, please. Wait, why can't she? Can't. Oh, I guess she can't go over those. What the heck? Can she... <laughs> she just kind of like darted forward. Uh, you know what? I'll just get off here. I don't- I can't use Anope in this next area anyway. Hey, what do you have to say? Uh, from now on, you're free to come and go as you please through the... Did I talk to you before in the last part? Um... I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, what you want to do is go this way and talk to this Gerudo guard over here, I think. She'll be like... Hey, newcomer? Or maybe not. Maybe I have to climb up here and talk to the guards up the, up top. I forgot. I know it's someone around here. Or at least I think I know. <laughs> hey, no twitchy twitch twitch. You! Hey, rookie. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you. But you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, follow the flags we place there. They say you can't walk across it, but then they say after you cross it. But anyway, uh, these two trials aren't all that hard. Um, but you will need the Lens of Truth for the second one. Unless you're really, really good and know the path without it. And I think there's a, I heard of a glitch that you can use to get through this gate, I should say get past this gate without having to even complete this place or without even having to talk to a guard. And I'm just going to take some fall damage because I don't care or not. <laughs> um, I'm going to get rid of my long shot, I think. And what does this sign have to say? Oh, and I'll show you a neat little trick if we, when we go in there too. If you chase a mirage, the desert will swallow you. The one path is true. All right, so you go through here. It gets very, very, very sandstormy. The idea is to follow the flags. Well, as you can see, the flags are very, very... I didn't mean to walk in there. <laughs> I got a little too close to the edge there. But they're very, very hard to see at certain points, especially if you have a weak TV. Uh, maybe I do need the long shot for this spot here, but yeah, the idea is to follow the flags throughout the whole thing, and I'm going to need to do this dealio to get across there, and like crate, there we go. And if you can't see the flags, here's a little trick for you. Play the Song of Storms. And... Watch for lightning flashes. Look at that, they just illuminate right up for you. What does the sign say? It's pointing the wrong way, apparently. Almost reckless enough to venture into the... Drop by our shop, the carpet merchant. Um... You know what, what the heck? <laughs> no, wait, no, 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 not that way. I need to go this way for the fun of it. Can I, like... No. <laughs> How was I supposed to get across to that guy? And I forgot what, what that guy has anyway. But I, I'd actually like to see what what's going on with that guy. I completely forgot about him throughout all my... See, what I normally do in my uh, normal runs through this game is I completely just skip through these sort of things. And yeah. <laughs> um, can I talk to you from here? Screw it! <laughs> Let's just move on. Alright, so there's a flag here. Flag over there. Just move from one flag to the other, otherwise you might get lost in the desert and be transported back to the beginning. It's sort of like a teleporting thing, like uh, when you fall into the quicksand of sorts. Even though quicksand isn't dangerous at all. <laughs> 
Your body's far more buoyant than the sand. You end up floating. Um, uh huh. We got these two flags here, and we got a split. Oh, okay. These are surrounding this thing. This is what I was looking for. As a matter of fact, I'm going to hop down here. This is the pose hut. And this skull tool is what I was looking for. Yep, one way out in the desert for you to find. Woohoo! Din's fire. Oops. <laughs> um, here we go. Treasure chest appears. And where did that. Oh, what? I didn't see it at all. It was like right. I mean, my body was covering it up perfectly. Uh, purple rupee that recovers the rupees that I lost from that mini game. <laughs> well, luckily for you, you won't have to sit through my uh, failed attempts because of the magic of video editing. And you'll notice that your map will not help you in the slightest in this area. So yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm looking for the path upwards. Here we go. Okay, now when you uh, use your lens of truth up here, get ready to run. It'll just read this thing first. Only one eye, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Eye of Truth, and look at that. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go, so follow me and don't be slow. Uh, this isn't very hard to do, just keep that pole within sight. It's a friendly little pole, and it'll dash and dart and across all different directions. But as a matter of fact, you might have an easier time. Um, keeping it around if you just Z-target it. Look out for the levers along the way. Yeah, that thing was a lever that you seen pop out of the sand. Don't worry about it. Uh, don't even bother attacking it because it will... Uh, I mean, they'll just keep spawning no matter what you do. Hey, come back here. See, that's what's so handy about Z-targeting it. Well, L-targeting it on the GameCube version is that you'll never lose sight of it because the camera just pans you right over to the critter. And eventually you'll get to your destination. Yeah, you do have to actually take this path no matter what. There is no cheating this. It's completely programmed into it. And eventually you'll be taken to these two flags, which will take you to the next area of the game. Look at this. Voila. The Desert Colossus. Home of the last temple in the game. Well, last mandatory temple, I should say, or last mandatory dungeon. Um, I believe... I'll just take care of this right away. Yeah, there's a crack in the wall right here. I will get my bombs out, and I might as well scan these critters just for the fun of it. See, it's a lever. And you also sink in the sand if you uh, don't keep moving, and that'll really slow you down. But just plop a bomb there, and... Navi! <laughs> There we go, now go inside here with your ocarina, of course. I think you know what is going to be hidden here if you have an ocarina. Yep! Remember, no eye contact, cover your ears. Especially you young ones out there, I don't want you to be traumatized, and yeah. Oh god, I can still hear! Oh, no! That's yeah, another great fairy, and she gives you a thing. No, not those things. <laughs> Thank you, and please give me the things so I can get out of here. If that, that, that would be very kind of you. This is Nauru's love. It grants you temporary invincibility. Uh, but it uses a ton of magic power, so I typically don't use it, but yeah, that's basically what it does. It's another spell like uh, Farori's Wind and uh, Din's Fire. So, yeah. Voila! <laughs> and she's explaining it. I already said that, lady! <laughs> I think I'll go see another fairy's fountain. No offense. <laughs> so now that we're done here, I can go explore the rest of the de desert colossus. And I'm actually going to go over to the oasis at the other side here. And ow. Actually, that didn't hurt me, but it, it looked like that it was going to hurt me with the... Uh, ow, whatever. Don't question the game logic. Because <laughs> I've seen the hit animation and, well, yeah. Um, stand on this thingy right here. And no levers will bother you up here. 
play the Song of Storms. Look at that, it fills right up, and a much more attractive fairies fountain appears around here. Alright, now there's two skull tulas around this area. I believe one of them is in a tree. Unless it's not nighttime yet. I didn't hear the wolf howl. Oh wait, it is up there, okay. And I will get that critter quick owl. How am I supposed to get you? <laughs> Can I, like, stand into the water and shoot it from behind? That would be an attractive option. Um... Well, I sort of can. Oh, there we go! <laughs> the other one I have to plant a bean for, and that's... Whoa! I gotta do that a little bit later as a kid. But don't worry about that at the moment. I gotta do a little event first. And then I'll come back here as a kid, and then back here as an, as an adult to, uh replenish my, uh, I mean, finish off this area, replenish, <laughs> what am I talking about here? And this is the spirit temple, but why did I enter here? Well, well this, this treasure chest here, I suppose I can open up. <laughs> Bomb shoes, no, I'm full! Um, just for the fun of it, is there an equivalent chest on this side? No, there's not, okay. Well, you'll notice that there's this hole over here. You can't enter this hole. Even though it looks like you can fit into it, you can't enter it. You can only do that as a kid, so just leave the area. You're only supposed to come in here to trigger the thing. By thing, I mean cutscene. It's Chick. Past, present, future. The Master Sword... Is that Kapora Gabora? Stop stalking me! The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's flow. Listen to this requ Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. Yeah, you'll be able to warp here as a kid. It is him. He's back. <sighs> Evil. Evil. <laughs> Probably been stalking me this whole time. So I learned a new song, and that's the last song in the game. What else do you have to say, Ninja Girl? ninja through the sand. Tricky, tricky. Well, anyway, now what you want to do is go back to the Temple of Time and turn yourself back into a kid. And then there'll be a new bean pl patch that you can pa plant a bean in this area. Uh, so, yeah, let's go back to childhood. And just like that, we're back at the Desert Colossus. Things seem a whole lot bigger now that you're a kid, but anyway. All, I had, all I'm able to do right here, well at least before I go back into the Spirit Temple, is plant the very last bean in the game. Yes indeed, there it is! Everything's coming together! And I'll be back to this very spot as an adult. Whoopsie doodle, I forgot to use the last of my bugs here as well. Yeah, I went back a little bit earlier in the walkthrough to get the last bugs, you know, just to refill my stash here. And just to show you that this indeed does work, that when you plant uh, 
a bug there, I mean, a pl plant a plant there, and then put bugs into the hole, a skull tula will appear. See, it was all on purpose. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So there is the skull tula of this area, and now we're going back here as an adult, for realsies. And here we are. Last skull tula in a bean hole. Last bean. Take a ride all the way up to here. Wait, was this? This was it, right? Uh, I took the jump off way too quickly there. Oh, the heart piece is up there. That's the last heart piece in the game. So I gotta get up there using ye old bean patch. Come on, baby. There we go. I don't know when I'm supposed to jump off this thing, but I just know I gotta go up there. <laughs> Please take me around gently, thank you. And, um... Oh, there we go, there we go, there, there. That's gonna be tricky. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, so I gotta get the camera like this, so that I will be facing the stone thing when it goes underneath it. And go under and over. There we go. Now, that's the last heart piece in the game. You don't have to worry about getting any of them anymore. And there's one more skull tula that you need to get with that bean. I don't remember where it was. I just remember that it was on top of a stone thing. I don't remember which stone thing it was on top, but let's see. <laughs> Just uh, take another ride through here for the last time. Up here, maybe? I'm listening for the Skull to Love Scratchies. There it is! That's it! That's the last Skull to Love. This area as well. Oh yeah, baby! And that's about all I'm going to be doing in this part. I'm going to enter the Spirit Temple and save, just so I can save at sort of a checkpoint of places of sorts. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part where we start the Spirit Temple as a kid. Well, I should probably transform myself back there in the next, I mean by the next part. But yeah, you get the idea. Toodaloo!